trans women are women. Is that really what you believe? That Sarah, who used to be Steve, Steve and the creep, the real incel, into lesbian porn while touched himself, is now a woman, a lesbian even, is wearing a dress and taking estrogen. He's a trans woman, the most oppressed class alive. Sometimes he likes to pretend he's age five. But now it's Sarah who's hoping she'll find a real hot lesbian who really won't mind. They hound lesbian forums. Why won't you date me? If you don't accept my dick, then it means that you hate me. Then you have mediocre male athletes failing in their career, changing to a woman and win gold every year. Ambitious teenage boys, they know the tip that transition can mean attainment of an important scholarship. And what of the CEO, the privileged white male, who's now the highest paid female CEO, her name's Gail. He's benefited from privilege all his life. At leisure to pursue his career, just ask his wife. She does the drudgery, he's not interested in that. He gets the accolades and his company meet the requirements of the Equality Act. One thing I do notice is the complete lack of the use of the word autogynophilia. <laughs> the fetish they used to hide, cross-dressing in secret, behind closed doors, nobody to see it. But you know what gives these men their biggest thrill? Bending others to their will. People playing along with their sexual fantasy, pretending they are the women they want to be. If you don't say I'm a woman, you're transphobic, you hate me. But Fifi, you're the one on lot in threatening to rape me. You said you stuff your penis down my throat and punch me in the face. And you wonder why I don't want you in my private space. <laughs> Amber Alert loves to dress as a sexy teenage girl. But do you know what Amber Alert means around the world? And a certain Canadian, let's not forget about him, asking a 10 year old about tampons if she needs help to put one in. Drag queens in schools, adult sex performers taking parents for fools. They're coming for our children, they want vulnerable minds to feed with the bullshit that gender defines whether you like blue or pink, a career or the kitchen sink. If a boy wears his hair long, it means his body is wrong. It's gender dysphoria, the woke people claim. Look up the doctor who gave it this name. I did, and he's a crook and a paedophile. Look for yourself, his experiments are vile. His name's Dr. John Money, and his name gives a clue as to why the medical industry are following it through. And what of the trans men? Why do they not get a mention? Why do I not give them the same attention? Because they're not a threat to men. Would they choose to go to prison with them? No, and do you know why? Because they would not treat her like a guy. And trust me, as they forced her down, they would not care about her pronoun. And so I fight for them too. If you're biologically female, my feminism includes you. I get that woman is not an easy fit. I understand why you want to identify out of it. So this is for the women that sympathise, that shout tough, unaware they're participating in their own demise. We still fight for you, sisters. Even though you side with the misters, we fight for safe female spaces, our private places, for our daughters to compete without losing to a man they just can't beat. For the women in power to be just that, not a man in a dress where a female should be sat. We're fighting for the female prisoners with nowhere to hide, no escape from the men with them locked inside. It's oppression, I can't believe you can't see, the hoax that they call gender ID. So it's time to unite, to stand up. No longer will we go with the flow. It's time to redefine our boundaries and say no!